Did you know that Trotsky Castle was supposed to be in the first KCD game? That's right, in the game's Kickstarter video, the creative director Daniel Vara, I hope I didn't butcher that, was standing right next to the castle. The real castle, that is, because if you didn't know, it's a real world castle, just like Talmberg, Ratai, and other sites in KCD. The plan for Trotsky Castle to be in the first game actually makes sense, because the studio originally planned for the whole story to take place in a single game, in three acts, as laid out in the Kickstarter page. And the creative director did say this in the game reveal trailer for KCD2. What we are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning. Now, the real Trotsky Castle nowadays is just a ruin. A beautiful ruin, but still a ruin. Ruined. 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 Dumbass. The castle is located on the summits of two volcanic basalt pillars in the municipality of Troskovis. I'm sure I butchered that too. In Czechia, a little under 80 kilometers north of Kutenberg, which is the centerpiece of the second map in KCD2. Trotsky Castle being the centerpiece of the first map. Now, obviously, the Trotsky Castle in the game is a reconstruction of how the castle looked precisely in the year 1439, as per this tweet by the creative director back in July 2018. The events of the first KCD take place in the year 1403, but I don't think the second game will take place an entire 36 years after the first, since it is confirmed that it's actually only a few days after Henry and Hans Capon set out on their journey at the end of the first game. Which brings us to the role that Trotsky Castle will play in KCD2. If you remember, at the end of the first game, Hans and Henry were tasked to deliver a letter to Otto von Bergov, which is the lord of Trotsky Castle. The letter is supposed to inquire about Bergov's and the League of Lords' position in the war. Are they with King Wenceslas or Sigismund? And although Hanush said this after writing the letter, no one could deduce from this whether we are Sigismund's allies or foes. <laughs> Based on what I could see from the trailer, things might not have gone according to plan. First, Henry is seen in a cell, and I'm pretty confident this cell is in Trotsky Castle, because the guard's armor has what resembles the Lords of von Birgov's emblem. And this here is definitely in the area surrounding Trotsky. But then again, who knows? I don't think we can say anything definitive from the trailer. Did Birgov ambush Henry and Hans? Did he welcome them? Is he with Sigismund? I guess we'll have to wait for the game to come out and find out for ourselves. Now. I can't just show a beautiful castle like this one and not talk about its defenses. Yes, I just tricked you into watching a castle review video. It was secretly a review all along. Now, don't click off. Hey, 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 stay, stay. It's gonna be good, I promise. I'll, I'll make it quick. A little side note before we proceed, I'm going to mostly go off of this reconstruction of the castle, since we only get to see the castle from a couple angles from afar in the trailer. And also, if you're enjoying this, click that like button. First, the location. A prominent hill, a, a prominent hill, and on that hill, another smaller hill, and on that hill, two gigantic rocks. And of course, between those two rocks is the rest of the castle. Brilliant location and outstanding view. So there is no way an army could take you by surprise. Siege equipment is possible to be used against this castle, but I don't think any trebuchet can reach the two towers. Let me know if you think otherwise. Ladders might be used in this middle portion of the castle, but one thing is sure, the two towers are impenetrable. I give the location a rating of 2 out of 3. Now for the layout, strong point. We have more than one bailey. Three in fact. Two of them have gatehouses, and this one seems to only be accessible through this building slash tower. These two gatehouses are offset from one another, so the enemy has to twist and turn to get to the next gatehouse. And another awesome thing about this layout is that it is split in half. So once the enemy gets through the first gatehouse, it has two options. Either to go to the next bailey and try to reach this side of the castle, or try to enter through here to reach the other side. Wonderful layout, and it deserves nothing less than a 3 out of 3. The last aspect we're going to review is the general defenses of the castle. The gatehouse is not that good. We just have an entrance in the wall and a little hoarding above it. And here, it looks like we have a gate of some sort. Looks to be wooden and seems to be opening to the outside. Weird. Gates should be opening to the inside, right? Like this. Also, I don't think this here is at Trotsky Castle. We have a drawbridge and a moat. I think it's just this other castle. But anyways, moving on. 
The battlements here look good, pretty standard. The steps that lead to the tower are wooden, so they can be removed in the event of a siege. And the second gatehouse here is exactly the same as the first one. As for the rest of the walls and battlements, they're pretty good. They're pretty high and have hoardings atop of them. As for these four buildings, they look very secure. No big windows, just some arrow slits. And this tower, I think, is impossible to get to. Apparently, the only way to it is this little wooden thing. I don't know what to call it, but if I had to guess, there's a ladder inside there. And that's the only way to get to the top. Because I don't think this could have an entire staircase inside it. All in all, pretty good defenses with a few blunders here with the gatehouses. 2.5 out of 4. Now, I rate this castle 6 pieces of dried meat out of 50 smoked sausages. I've been rash and I'm out of here. Okay, no, 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 I'll, I'll give it a real rating. We have 2 out of 3 for the location, 3 out of 3 for the layout, and 2.5 out of 4 for the defenses, which makes it a 7.5 out of 10 rating for the whole castle. Now, I'm not sure if Trotsky Castle will look exactly like this in the game. Probably not exactly, but I think it would be similar enough. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you happen to like this castle review and didn't just click off halfway through the video, check out my other castle review videos. Just click on the playlist. They're all there. That's it for me. I've been Rash, and I'm out of here. For real this time.